All right, I got another video. Got my coffee, and Amazon just delivered this other bowfang. This is a new one too. Um, and the coffee's leaving a stain on here. Um, so I, I don't know much about this one. I know that there's more than one version of it. The uh, TD I radio version, I guess. Um, I've kind of started to look at stuff before I order it and make sure that it's going to be supported on Sherp because the uh, deal is if it isn't, sometimes you can have a hard time. Ham Radio Bofang BF-H6TW Ming Cable and Speaker Microphone. This is their new thing they do. They have gotten good at gift wrapping. <laughs> I always try and kind of carefully open these to where they're not real hard to put back in there and uh, send back to Amazon. I don't. Uh, keep everything. Some of this stuff is such crap. You know. So this is not the usual um, crappy box. It feels really thin. A little cityscape over here. Some information on the box. Uh, this one actually might say the model number on the box. Portable two-way radio, an LCD screen, blah, 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 da, 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 Fujian, Bose Bang Electronics. And like I said before in another video, um, they used to have a different name on them. Uh, okay, this one doesn't say it. My UVA. What the hell? <sighs> Somebody left the radio on and it's dying. I think. Yep. Okay, back to the video. Get this thing open here. Okay. The user's manual looks a lot smaller than normal than the last one. There's the radio. It actually already has the battery on it. Interesting. Um, it's, uh, hey, it kind of looks like this. Interesting. Um, in fact, <laughs> it looks a lot like this. That's kind of crazy. Um, wow. So, um, that's, that's very cool. Okay, so we got that there. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. So, lately I've been noticing they put these labels on things and they don't, uh, they don't really stick them on there that well. The uh, different type of power supply than normal. Okay. I'll probably put that back in there. Um, I don't think this has the plug on the side of the battery. No, it doesn't. Um, which would be nice. But what I noticed is that a lot of these radios are regurgitating the same format with a different plastic case. I don't want the old uh, UV5R display. This one came with a microphone. These are usually not very good. Um, but... Uh, I'm not going to concern myself with that too much. I actually do more listening than I do talking. Uh, let's see here. Sticker is on crooked on this one. It's not like it matters. Input 10 volts. Output 8.4 volts. 
a, a clip more like the original ones. Um, I just kind of like those better than some of the other ones. Um, definitely a downgrade on the antenna from some of the ones that I've seen. This is, uh, it doesn't even say the uh, name on it anymore. But uh, we can see here that it's basically your original antenna. And um, hey, at least this one says Bofang on it, UV antenna. This doesn't say anything. FM 136, 174, 400, 520. Okay. Now, what you'll notice here is kind of different about this radio is the antenna is actually on the other side of the radio. Which, for me, I'm left-handed, so I think it's kind of cool. Um, but, boy, it is very similar to a TYT. Um, and, um, but... The battery clip uh, on this, you know, the thing goes on the back of the battery. Um, this also has that same kind of style of uh, battery that I saw on the uh, the other radio. So, way down underneath in the plastic, they put the programming cable with an actual Bofang CD. Now, I'm going to highly doubt that this CD uh, will program this radio, but... Uh, I could be wrong. I've also noticed that certain manufacturers uh, are rebranding the radios and um, they're. Uh... Welcome. Welcome. Channel mode. Oh, that's the usual deal here. So the uh, TP8 Plus, it, it sounded retarded. It had like some other kind of deal. So we got here 45982145215. Looks like it transmits. Let's go to four, six, two. Oh, wait, it won't let me do that. Vehicle. Frequency mode. Okay. Let's go. Uh, One, four, eight, 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 zero, zero, zero. Okay. So it's transmitting on one, four, eight. Let's uh, verify that. Um, I don't like radios that are locked. I think this thing's dead, too. Good Lord. Yep. So, anyway. I don't have a two-meter out. Yes, I do. I don't know that it's hooked up, though. You guys are going to be able to see it in the video. Let me uh, refocus uh, my camera here real quick. Um, we'll go up, up over here to the uh, ICOM 746 Pro. Okay. Radio test one, two, three, four. So, um, let's just for laughs and giggles, we'll look this up. I've never heard one that sounded good.
I can't even hear it. That's pretty bad. Hello, one, two, three, four. Um, let's see, there's a little hole up in the top of the corner. But yeah, uh, this uh, um, is your typical uh, really bad microphone. Hello, one, two, three, four. I can hear the click of the microphone better than I can hear the audio coming out of the microphone. So, anyways, um, uh, so far, I think this is a, a good radio, possibly. Let's get back over here to the table, test bench, as you would. So, um, um, I'm going to do some further testing on this radio and uh, give you guys a little bit more information on it. But uh, so far, I think uh, it's uh, $34, $38 with tax uh, on Amazon. Got here in two days. And um, I think this could be a good uh, daily driver radio. Um, definitely um, uh, better quality, I think, than the uh, UV5R. A little bit bigger. Um, yeah, I, I like this better. Um, I don't necessarily think that it sounds better on transmit. But the last radio I reviewed was a lot better. So, anyway, I'll make another video later on and I'll get this uploaded so you guys can see what I'm up to. Thanks for watching.